Hey everyone, what's up? Myself Diksha from Biotechnica and today we shall be talking about the career prospects and scope after doing your PhD in Botany versus PhD in Biotechnology, Plant Biotechnology. So here we shall be discussing about the uh, very similar courses PhD Biotechnology and PhD Plant Biotechnology and students ask that what is the difference between these two courses and what are the career prospects after their, like these two courses and which one is better. There are many questions that students ask so we are going to talk about, discuss about that actually each one of them in detail and then the first thing that I will mention about that PhD in botany versus PhD in plant biotech so see the, the thing is that PhD in botany is a classical course where uh, PhD in plant biotech has been an like an applied course in the field of plant sciences sciences so there is no something which is better or which is wrong or which is like which you should like pursue uh, which is uh, like right to pursue which is wrong to pursue there is nothing like that the problem and the thing is that it depends upon your like um, career prospect it depends upon your ease of uh, like uh, study it depends upon what exactly uh, subject allows you if you want to study uh, in the field of plant sciences so if you're working in the field of plant sciences and you're confused between botany and plant biotechnology then you should clearly mention in your mind that it is just classical versus light classical versus applied science of plant sciences okay both are plant sciences only but there is some application based or some uh, applied aspect in plant biotechnology where there would be some touch of interdisciplinary background which will be not in the case of botany but then there would be different career prospect depending upon each one of them because one is uh, core uh, plant sciences and another one is applied plant sciences. So both will have different career prospect, both will have different career opportunities, different perks, different benefits and so you can't compare and say that which one is better to pursue. It depends upon your interest and ultimately what you want to become after pursuing your PhD in botany or in plant like uh, biotechnology. So your career prospect after doing your PhD in plant sciences what you want to become is more important let's say if you want to become a lecturer if you want to become a professor or if you want to teach in a school classical botany subject will have a higher vacancies or if you want to become in go into companies if you want to work in agri-based firms if you want to work in like an uh, industrial exposure or in the field of some applied sciences then only you can go for plant biotechnology because they are having a good exposure about the applied and application based sciences but yes they will have lesser vacancies if you go for any lectureship based job so these are some of the differences still they will have a preference in the lecturership also but yeah the number of vacancies that comes for botany will be always higher so there are different aspects and there are different perks and benefits so here we shall be discussing each one of them in detail about the career prospect and scope okay so firstly we shall be talking about phd in botany so i will be discussing about introduction eligibility government job private job top institutions and the salary range okay so introduction is that it is a three to five year degree program. It is a research oriented degree program, okay? It's not normal degree program, it's a PhD, okay? So it's a research oriented degree program and you will be getting exposure to classical and applied domain of plant sciences depending upon the topic of research that you are choosing, okay? So this is about the introduction, now comes to eligibility. So the eligibility is you should have a PG in the relevant discipline in the field of life sciences, applied sciences, horticulture, sericulture, in any relevant discipline. The PG should be in the relevant discipline that is applicable for a PhD in the field of biology me and you should have a minimum 55 percent to 60 percent of marks in the subject i have set a cutoff of 60 percent because most of the places now ask for 60 percent so mostly if you are in a, at a 60 percent score you are safe so the eligibility is mentioned is here now we're talking about some of the government jobs so if you want to go into government job to, uh, jobs after doing your phd in biotech as well in botany then some of the government jobs are you can go for any organization if you have done your phd it means you are a well occupied researcher so you can go for any research position you can work in any organization and assist their research you can go for any organization and help them in building a better prospect in the field of like uh, like botany or in the field of uh, botany plus environmental sciences forestry so you can go for any organization one of such famous organization is national reserves and botanical parks also you can go uh, like these places you can go and also you can go for certain organizations such as Department of Environmental Protection, then you can go for Department of Conservation and Land Management, you can go for Department of Agriculture and Water, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, Nature Conservancy, 
पब्लिक हेल्थ सर्विसेज इन्वॉर्मेंटल प्रोटेक्शन एजेंसी देन about the department of agriculture smithsonian institute so this is about the uh, different uh, like organization that you can go and search for vacancies where it is available they have they will have different vacancies for the uh, like the for the applicants who have completed their phd in the field of botany so this is about the government jobs you can also work in a natural reserves or botanical parks uh, there, there are certain national botan botanical research institute they have vacancies for phd in biobotany so you can always go for those positions you can can go for research labs where you will uh, be seeing, having a like a research position in labs such as csir uh, funded labs icai funded labs and dbt funded labs also you can go and become a lecturer if you have um, like if you have qualified obviously uh, csir net life sciences uh, examination you can go and teach into the schools and colleges schools like if you go for a post graduate uh, like uh, If you have a postgraduate degree and PhD, you can go for PGT teacher also, who teaches for eleven, twelve standards. So they are equivalent to lecturer only. So you can go and become a lecturer in the schools, colleges, as well as universities. Or you can go and write for Indian Forest Service examination. Or you can write for any other examination such as like this Indian Forest Service only, then SSC, Bank PO, UPSC, or State Service based examination. So these are the examination, the government examination that occurs once in a year or twice in a year. And then you can always apply to these. examination based on your eligibility and your interest and if you are interested in pursuing forest sciences if you are interested in the certain position that are always you know like advertised by the upsc or state or public service commission departments uh, of your state so they will always have some vacancies for phd in botany and some like recruitment process always on going on so you make sure that you always subscribe to the newsletters subscribe to the employment news and then you can always find those opportunities now we are going we have done the government job we are going to discuss about the private job so since it's a phd in bot me of obviously you can go for any private job but yeah the job scope would be here little less depends on the project that you have done and the exposure that you have done so you can go for any biotechnology firm or food company so your salary would be like in if you you can become a biomedical scientist the salary would be 3.9 lakh per annum startingly then you can also become a lab technician 2.38 lakh per annum but uh, uh, like um, doing a phd in botany and then going for a better position is always good so you can go for any research position that is always applic applicable and encouraged to do so and then you can go for food companies also you can become a nutrition specialist 3.6 lakh per annum is the salary so they have also like if you have a botany degree also you can go and like because in botany also you will be studying some of the aspect of food sciences as well as some of the aspect of the uh, like nutrition sciences so you can go for those uh, positions also if that is if you are interested in those positions you can go for food based companies also and also there are some top institutions where you can go for any like post doc position or you if you want to go in uh, for a phd also you can go if you if you have done your phd you can go for post doc position some of the research positions you can go so always there are some uh, top like institutions in the field of phd botany is delhi university then iia new delhi banaras hindu university jamia millia islamia university of hyderabad these are the some of the good universities uh, and then salary range is uh, dependent upon the job profile so a taxonomist will always get a salary of 4.8 lakh per annum they can you can become an agronomist also where you can salary have you can have a salary of 6.4 lpa ecologist 6.7 lpa mycologist 6.6 lpa plant breeder you can work in a government company also or government firm also or a private company also the salary would be 5.5 lpa you can become a botany lecturer i have mentioned it's 7 lpa forest range officer it is 6.2 lpa and then research associate 3.5 lpa so this is about the salary range of the different positions and profile after doing your phd in botany so now we are done with the phd in botany we have discussed where we have discussed about the introduction eligibility government jobs available private jobs available institutions and the salary range now we are will be discussing about PhD in plant biotech. Now, since we have talked that it is a applied subject, it is applied subject in the field of plant sciences. Again, the introduction would be same. It is a research oriented degree program in allied and applied plant sciences. It will have a three to five year of degree uh, exam degree duration. Depends upon your research work and your like uh, the funding available and how much enthusiast you are able to complete the research on time. So it depends upon many factors. The duration. So duration is not a fixed thing. So the eligibility is like you have a you should have a PG in the relevant discipline and. 
and the minimum marks should be 60% in the relevant again the cutoff I have put at the high at the highest because most of the places the 55% is not applicable nowadays so PG should be in the relevant discipline applied to the plant biotech sector the government jobs and the private jobs now we are discussing so since we have discussed that it's a applied subject in the field of biotechnology it's a biotechnology based plant sciences subject okay so we have to think about it that we don't we can't expect a normal vacancy a usual vacancy that comes in the field of botany zoology or the classical subjects so the normal vacancies if you go for and like uh, ex especially exclusively for botany for positions exclusively for zoology positions exclusive positions for plant biotech in government organizations as well as in the universities will be little less again because it's an applied subject but yeah there are certain relaxation also where if you the eligibility is such that you can have a botany slash agriculture sciences slash plant sciences slash plant biotechnology then you are always applicable but for exclusive post if you think that for exclusively plant biotech post it's lesser in the field of government firms but yeah there are always uh, like a hybrid uh, eligibility where you will be botany slash plant sciences plus uh, slash plant biotech so you will be never running out of option that i will always tell you you will be never running out of options because you are getting an advanced degree okay so you are getting an advanced degree so you have an perks and benefit regarding it and especially if you want to go for research and especially want to go for industrial firms it is really good to have a plant biotech degree okay so you will have like having a perks always so the eligibility we have discussed now we are talking about the government jobs the government job is such that you can become you can, you can you go to any research organization you can become a, a researcher research associate project associate jrf srf but yeah you since you have done your phd like you can become a research associate or post doctorate fellow so this was about the like if you have done your masters or in the field of plant uh, biotechnology but since you are phd now so you can go for postdoc positions on and you can go for any like research associate positions now university or colleges you can go and be a lecturer also if there is a hybrid eligibility and there are because in the field of biotechnology also there is plant biotechnology so they want a person who has qualified the plant biotechnology degree so that they can teach the students who are having like a biotechnology program and like plant biotech as one of the subject and also there are exclusive plant biotechnology curriculum going on in many universities as well as colleges so there also you can become a faculty and then you can go for hospital and medical organizations also again since it's an interdisciplinary subject you will be having exposure to many things and you can even go to hospital and medical organizations and work in collaboration with them again there would be a hybrid eligibility for that then you can also be a plant breeder in government organization you can like uh, different uh, you can equip it with different uh, like uh, the techniques the techniques of uh, plant breeding the techniques of hybrid like the techniques of so uh, like uh, somaclonal propagation micro propagation so these are the uh, techniques of somatic hybridization so these are the techniques you can actively recruit because you have been taught about the techniques their applications in the field of agriculture sciences as well as plant sciences all the time so you can always go and work in that sort so you can always become a plant breeder in government organizations you can become an environmental specialist also again because you have been exposed with some of the part of environmental biotechnology also so you can become an environmental specialist you can go into government organizations again such as uh, national uh, like natural reserves and botanical parks and also these organizations that we have mentioned same for botany also like department of environmental protection department of conservation land management department of agriculture and war animal and plant health inspection service nature conservancy public health environmental protection agency other department but uh, you can go to the website and check for the vacancies available in the field of plant bi biotechnology so these are the organizations they always recruit the students the who have done their phd in the field of uh, plant biotechnology so you can always go and search for these or like the website of these organization and search for any vacancy and if you find any vacancy that is applicable for plant biotechnology students you can always apply to them now we are coming up to the private job since it's a uh, again application or uh, applied subject there would be a lot of enormous number of private jobs available so the private job you can go for any agri and crop production company they will actively recruit the phd holders in the field of plant biotechnology because the most of the curriculum you have spent is like uh, learning about the techniques learning about the applied and application based aspect of plant sciences learning about different techniques how you can better the crop productivity better the agriculture yield so all 
always you will be welcomed by the agri and crop production company and they will pay you really good you can go for food and beverage company also you can go for pharmaceutical and com chemical company also because it is an interdisciplinary aspect you can go for even agripreneurship if you want to have an executive mba degree and you want to become an entrepreneur you can go for agripreneurship also again depends upon your interest so th this is about the private job again, again you will be having enormous amount of private job vacancies in the field of plant biotechnology then the top institution where you can go and study about plant biotechnology your higher degrees also and also the students who are like also the like studies where there is an active you know recruitment for the phd program in the field of plant biotechnology some of them are delhi university banaras hindu university university of hyderabad and iar in new delhi always so these are the top institutions and now we are coming up with the salary range so the salary range for the uh, like entry level salary range i am explaining like, uh, writing here and it depends upon the experience and the department where you are working and the relevant like the salary uh, like if it is a government uh, job then your central government pay hike it depends on many of the things but here i am just mentioning the basic salary level entry level salary so if you want to become a researcher entry level if you want to go for a research associate position your salary would be 40 to 60k per month if you are getting into a lecturer position it would be 50 to 80k per month entry level i'm talking again i'm uh, mentioning if you want to go for a scientist any government or a private firm you can be, uh, go you will be getting mostly 60 to 90k per month plant breeder would be mostly getting 40 to 70k per month and if you want working in an industrial firm in any other position like quality analyst or you want to go for any sales position or you want to regulatory affairs your salary will be ranging from 45 to 70k per month so this is about the salary range of the like the holders of the phd in the field of plant biotechnology so here we discussed about the differences uh, about the career prospect in the field of plant biotechnology as well as phd in botany phd in botany and phd in uh, plant biotechnology where we discussed about many of the things such as introduction eligibility government job private job institutions and salary range and now it depends upon your interest what you want to become it depends upon your ease of uh, handling the like the degree and if you have completed a degree if you want to go for any phd in what you want to go for any phd in plant biotechnology make sure you think about all these things and then uh, try to go for the phd and try to opt for the phd because uh, you we are talking about the phd in botany and phd in bio, plant biotech uh, sector we have mentioned about many things about the job prospect and the institutions also have mentioned where you can go and do your phd in botany and phd in plant biotech so the future scope is always like it will, it will vary upon the interest and it will always vary like uh, upon the current condition and it is like that it will never like any of the degree will never fade because both of the degree has their own norms their own values and their own recognition so it depends upon you where you want to go what you want to where you want to stand after 10 years or very what exactly is are your research interest so if you are having uh, that sort of clarity in your mind then any degree what you possibly be it phd in botany or phd in plant biotech you will definitely do good so basically that clarity in your mind that what uh, like intention you are carrying after doing your PhD is mostly important rather than the top institutions or the career prospect. So the career prospect is not decided by the by the like these these uh, like parameters. It also depends upon your uh, like ease your like. Um, interest your passion of doing that subject okay so here we have discussed about the common framework and you can always search for this these things on google also or any any relevant website also so you can uh, search for the, these things and if you have any doubt anything please mention in the comment box below so here we have discussed about phd in botany and phd in plant biotech and the fika jobs and career scopes in future also so thank you so much for watching this video and do like this video